Yo, what's up guys, Nate here from Coding with Nate, we're back with another video. In this video, we are going to be starting a new series on how to make a 1v1 shooter game. So, what a 1v1 shooter game is, is this game here. Where, you got the game, you can press play, you got two characters, one you control with the arrows, one you control with WASD. And they can fight. And then, yeah. So, that's basically what we are going to be doing for the next couple videos. And in this one, we are going to be doing the art and the platformer script. So, yeah, let's get into it. So, first thing we need to do is we need to do paint a sprite. And we are going to get the square tool. I'm going to make it the outline black. We're going to do five. And then we're going to make the inside red. And now we're going to hold shift to get a perfect square. And then let's get, just try to get a perfect square. Alright, that looks about good. Maybe a bit bigger. Since we made it a bit bigger, let's make the outline six. And let's make it a bit bigger. Okay, I think that's about good. Right, and now we'll make the outline about. Make sure you get off of it. Make the outline like four. Make the inside a nice gray. Perfect. So that could be pretty much the standard art. Uh, one thing we gotta do is kind of name this player one. Alright. So. Okay, there we go. So now we are gonna do this code. We, oh yeah. We also wanna make a control sprite. This one we're gonna do in green flag clicked. And as normal, we're gonna broadcast two messages. We're gonna do green flag and play game. Alright, perfect. So we are gonna do I don't see a green flag hide. And when I receive play game, show. And now we're going to do forever. We're going to make a block. We're going to call it move. And then we're going to do speed, height, uh, friction. Oh, that's, that's friction. And gra gravity. Alright, now we're going to click one without screen refresh. And we're going to click OK. And now we got this over here. Alright, I'm going to do forever move. And then so our speed, I'm going to set that to 2.5. Our height, uh, we can set to 12. Uh, our friction, we're going to set to 0.7. And our gravity, we're going to set to negative 1. So, our speed is how fast we want it to move side to side. Our height is uh, how high it'll jump. Yeah, our height is how high it'll jump. Uh, our friction is just to make it move smoother. I recommend putting that at 0.7. Uh, gravity is how we'll make it look as realistic as it can while we're falling. So, make sure that's at negative one. Alright, so, now we're going to do this. We're going to grab an if statement, and we're going to do if key 
we are gonna do D is pressed. We are gonna do oh yeah, we gotta make some variables. I'm gonna delete this variable. We're gonna make it P one X Val X Val. And then make sure you do it for the sprite only. Okay. And now we are gonna do P one Y Val. That's but only click OK. And now we are gonna do P1 slope. Alright, and then for the sprite only. Perfect. So now we're gonna do change P1 X Val to speed. And we're gonna duplicate that. We're gonna do if key A is pressed, change P1 X Val by speed times negative one. So basically whenever you multiply something by negative one, it basically if you multiply a positive number by negative one, it'll be negative whatever your positive number number is. If you multiply a negative number by negative one, it'll be whatever your uh whatever your positive number is. So basically speed times negative one right now since it doesn't really know what speed is here. We just did this. We did seven times negative one. It'd be negative seven. But if we did negative seven times negative one, it would just be seven. All right. So this is basically our moving left and right. Cause if, remember, if you change the X coordinate by a positive number, it'll make it move right. If you change the x-coordinate by a negative number, it'll move left. Alright, so now we're going to change, oh, set, sorry, set p1 x val to p1 x val times friction. So we'll grab a p1 x val block. So this is just saying what the value of p1 x val is, and then multiplying it by 0 0.7. So that it'll move a little bit smoother. And then we will change our x by x value. So now, oh, start of the game, let's also go to 0, 0, and we will set all of our variables to 0. All right, so now when we move, it should, oh, W and A, it should be moving smoothly left and right. All right, perfect. So now we're going to add, first thing we actually want to do is we will just make a, le like a level for the game, level. All right, so let's just make a test level. So and just make a floor. Uh, let's make it go to zero, zero. Okay, and now we will just add some more blocks and we will just rotate them. All right. And we can duplicate this. Flip it horizontally this to line up here. All right, perfect. And now just to add two of these, let's make it line up right here. We do this. Oops. And then make it line up right there. And then we will just add one more block. Let's go right there. It's here. And then we'll just move down. All right, so this can just be our little test level just to make sure that our platform script is working. Oh, okay. So now, got to do is, sorry if this is going to be a bit of a long one, but I'm going to do if Touching level. Oh, 
we are going to set P1 slope to zero. All right, and now we're going to do a repeat until I'm going to grab an OR. We're going to do a repeat until P1 slope equals eight or not touching level. We are going to change P1 slope by one and change Y by one. So this is basically making it so that we can go up slopes that are eight pixels steep. All right. So it'll help. We can't go up walls. We can go up slopes that are less eight pixels or less steep. All right. Now we're going to do another if touching level. We are going to do repeat. We are going to do ceiling of absolute value of x velocity are going to change x by absolute value and then we want division and multiplication we're going to put this in here and this in here and then in the back of the times we're going to do negative one and we're going to do two p1 x valves right here all right so what this is going to be doing is it's basically saying if you are touching the level after this it is basically doing repeating what it, like so basically it's just repeating how far you would be into the wall or slope and then it is changing the x by how far you are into the slope times negative one this is basically pushing you out of the slope or wall so that you don't walk right through it. All right. And now, actually, one more thing we need to do is we need to do an if touching level right here. All right. Perfect. And then final thing we need to do for this is we want to set right here. And this, like, I like to remember it is that there's two here, two here. It's right in the middle. So that P1X about is here. All right, so now we're going to do some Y collision. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to do change Y, not by 10, by Y velocity. All right, now we are going to do an if else. I'm going to do it. We're going to do a touching level in there. All right, and now we are going to do a... Uh, still if else again and we are going to do an and and now oh before this we want to take this and we want to put it in here and want to change all of our x vowels to y vowels all right and make sure that this is change y by and not change x by. All right, and now I can add this here. It's so basically what this is doing. Is this is saying like I want to say here is that this is basically saying if it's on the top of the platform. So if it's on the bottom of the platform, it's pushing you out the bottom so you can't go to the top. And if it's at the top of the platform. It'll push you up the top so you don't fall through the bottom. All right, and now I'm gonna do if, and this side of the if, we are gonna do key W pressed. And then we're gonna do this, grab this, and then we're gonna grab an equals negative one. So this is basically finding out if it's on top of the platform, if it's touching the top of the platform. We are going to set P1YVAL, not XVAL, to 
height. So this is basically setting it as high as you want to jump. Else, I'll set P1 Y bell to zero. And if it's in the middle, it's in the air, it will change P1 Y bell by our gravity. So this will make like the smoothest jump. All right, so now if we try it, it should have it fall to the ground and we can move around so we can jump. All right, one thing that I want to do is I want to make this say right. All right, and then I will duplicate the costume and I will name it left. And what I will do is I will just flip it horizontal. Make sure it's back to centered. All right. And now the top code, we are gonna switch costume to right and switch costume to left. And at the start of the game, we'll switch costume to right. All right. Uh, yeah, I'll switch it to right. Alright, so now, what should happen is when we play it, we can fall down. As you can see, we're not going through the platform. Oh, okay. I guess I did the wrong way. This will be left, and this will be right. So now, got it working. Alright, so the reason for that is actually when the QD is pressed, it's basically making this. It's like what the friction does is it basically makes it like makes it feel like it's like I don't know if it makes sense it makes it like it's pointing the other way kind of but the movement is still correct all right so no that was a bit of a long one but yeah pretty much uh, if you enjoyed the video and are excited for part two uh, make sure to like and subscribe and with that I'm Nate from Gunning with Nate and I'll see you in the next one.